Well, this morning on Bud Henninger Live, we unveiled Orlando's newest attraction, Orange Barrel World, coming to Central Florida starting in February. Orange Barrel World. You're going to be visiting it whether you want to or not, because it's Orange Barrel World, a.k.a. the $2.3 billion, 21-mile ultimate makeover of I-4 through the city and through Metro Orlando, starting in Seminole County at 434 all the way through the city, down to Kirkman on the south side near the attractions. And it's going to be wall-to-wall -wall orange barrels. We brought the director of the project on the uh, show this morning, Lorreen Bobo, and I thought she was really terrific. She gave a lot of information. They are going to do this, they say, with no lane closures at all, except at night. So during the morning and afternoon commutes, um, theoretically, you're still going to be able to, to get through. Although I have to believe that there are going to be all kinds of problems. And this is going to go on for six and a half years. So get ready to tough it out on um, Orange Barrel World or take alternative routes, which I think are going to be a nightmare like 1792 or 441. Or it might be that the great beneficiary of the I-4 makeover is Sunrail, because that may drive more people onto the train than anything else possibly could. But ready or not, here it comes, and we unveiled it. It's Orange Barrel World, the I-4 makeover. Be very interesting to see what the next six and a half years hold. Of course, we'll be following it closely and giving you all the latest info. So join me for the next edition of Bud Henninger Live on News Radio 1025, and I'll look for you then.